Hello everybody, that's here. very happy to see all of you on the other side of the screen. In today's video I'd like to make a quick overview of Coolens QDC 3 Series 4th generation that was announced back in May and I will tell you what's the difference from the 3rd generation and also will touch briefly on availability situation because it's a little bit limited at this point. So back in May Coolens says that we will discontinue 3rd generation of the Coolens QDC 3 series is widely used in a lot of computer builds and it's a very popular type of the fitting because they work great, they're compact and it just makes your life so much easier. So after that they quickly discontinued third series which became very quickly unavailable for purchase but they have a trouble with producing enough of the fourth series so right now we're in a situation when we don't have any more left any third series but we barely have any force so it's a little bit difficult right now everybody trying to grab whatever they can but hopefully the situation will improve soon so what's the difference between fourth and third series or generations of the fittings essentially it's exactly the same mechanism exactly the same form factor so all QDC series all the way to the original one that was probably introduced I don't even know like seven years ago or so they still is fully compatible there's absolutely no problem so we take a fourth generation female fitting and let's say very first original QDC series and try to connect them there's absolutely no problem so you see it's connected this is original series this is third series third generation series works and now the fourth generation series also works so that's absolutely no problem you can continue to use your QDCs if you have purchased them previously but if you would like to expand or add any additional QDCs again it's not a problem it will be fully compatible with anything that you used before so what's the difference the difference is the way how they assembled and it's mostly related to manufacturing process not to the any type of improvement in the way the fitting works and essentially what they did the QDC fitting has some internal mechanism inside and like a two parts which connected and hide that mechanism altogether so how it was used before for the sealant purposes they use epoxy and that's how they prevent it from leaking and it was all the way to the fourth generation series but right now they're saying that they discontinued epoxy way of uh, manufacturing and they seal it with by cold pressing the fitting so that's probably maybe simplify the process probably makes them less expensive what i would guess but officially also coolen says that this will improve long-term reliability of the fittings i don't think it's really a big concern for the computer models maybe for industrial applications where fittings also used it maybe were make any difference but I, I never ever saw any of the QDC leaked or otherwise failed sometimes mechanism itself the, which is uh, locking and unlocking the fitting get a little bit corroded or get dirty with deposits and get stuck but the fact that the, the actually fitting was leaking from the, two parts of the shell get connected together I wouldn't recall this I don't know anybody can confirm this or deny in the comments but I don't think it's ever was a problem so for, for us it's nothing nevertheless I would like to say that we still get a little bit affected by the change because the physical dimensions of the fitting has changed so if you look the how fitting was progressing from the past so originally we have a VLC series which was huge so you can see that especially female version was an extremely large type of the fitting so when we have a pair it was quite a long probably like 10 centimeters uh, like 3 inches long which was a little bit of nuisance to have a, such a chunk of the fittings inside of your computer and it was a really welcome change when they moved to QDC series from VLC or how it's called VLC3 I think let me see where's the logo VL3N that's how it was called 
so it was really great originally the difference was not that much so you can see this is first QDC series that was released the male version and this is VL3N and it's actually even bigger than an older one but when we were comparing female version then we, we actually got this big improvements which was much shorter and then Coolens released the best ever version with a letter S and a part number which was actually was short for short <laughs> And this was a really small fitting. So comparing with old fitting, you can see this as a shaved almost centimeter for the male version. And it was not much difference for the female, but nevertheless, it was the shortest possible fitting ever created. And I was really love those type of the fittings because they make it build much more elegant with less metal less weight it was compact and i absolutely love qdc fitting i use them a lot if you can see that even in my personal rig so i have quite a few connections there's a silver ones right here from the gpu i have the same on the cpu so if i need to drain anything clean anything it's easy type of the disconnection you can deal with each part separately so qdc is a fantastic and, and especially it was notable with um, some competition. For example, another popular fitting for QDC is right now is Alpha Cool that uh, recently introduced their models uh, some few months ago. But you can see this is a fitting is a huge, especially like a male version. And uh, when they connected together, also they seem like more higher flows and coolants. But if we make assembly you can see that the coolant is a shorter also maybe it's not a good example because this is component version this is the version with compression fitting but if let's say we disconnect uh, discontinue looking at a compression fitting part so that will be like this so it's like one centimeter shorter so it was a little bit more compact and it is a little bit more compact than alpha cool so but having said that there's some changes that I noticed that come with the fourth generation that now they almost all of them have this big part on the bottom possibly it's required for the actual manufacturing process but especially for the male version you can see that old one and new one it's quite much bigger and this is a can potentially create a problem with putting fitting right into the components or other clearance issues and just like to show you this is the top of a CPU block from Alpha Cool Core 1 which is probably one of the most popular versions of the block and you really need to watch the distance between the ports if you want to use uh, QDC fittings on uh, on a CPU block for example or any other component with the core one I'm literally barely can put those, those new fittings together so we can see that uh, let's put female version in the middle so we have it here so and let's say definitely probably wouldn't even be able to put second uh, female version but let's say we do male female combination and it depending <laughs> on the way a female version actually connected because it can touch a little bit but if I turn it in a more preferable way then I can do it but it's barely barely can do it so it's very close before it was a good gap between those two but right now it's a barely works and if we try to put connection make a full connection so it's kind of works but a little bit tight so if you're working with any other block I would suggest to cross references cross reference it with the core one so is the distance shorter than on the core one maybe you will not be able to put fitting 
straight into CPU block without some sort of offset or 90 degree fitting when you you're just facing some other direction so in this sense I would say that I'm not very happy with the fourth generation I would rather prefer the form factor of the third generation because I love the compact factor of QDC fittings that we had before and now we have a little bit more bulky more heavy type of the fittings and well nothing we can do about that but I would like to say that if you still see anybody selling a generation 3 fitting maybe you want it more than generation 4 because it's again it will be a little bit more compact more elegant type of the looks inside of your computer now a quickly note about the availability so they discontinued very quickly the third generation but it seems that coolant struggle with the production in introducing of the fourth generation so we have a limited number of fittings available only in silver at this point but black is coming actually here in does mode we just make a purchase order that will be sent directly from coolants uh, with a bunch of black version of the QDC 4 generation fitting we would expect them to get uh, somewhere close to like Christmas time or Black Friday time because it takes like a month to produce but they coming so by the Christmas you probably will see availability of the black fittings more or less done and will be available through coolants itself and the, any other retailers and hopefully by the same time the majority of the silver versions will be available because they introduce just um, like a couple sizes and then they introduce a component in size which is the most popular and most often used type of the fittings and they out of stock of course right now in many places but at least that was released and it will be manufactured we get a bunch of them soon as well together with black fittings so things will improve but most of the 2025 actually that was not available and it was very limited availability for all the versions because it was sold out so i hope you'll find this video informative and We'll figure out what this uh, fourth generation QDC3 means and I'll see you in the next video. Thank you for watching.